Okay, the next fly is going to be another dry fly because, well, that's why everyone goes to Lesotho. Um, this is a very simple fly, it's a shuttlecock, um, and I've found it's particularly good in the later season. Um, both the trout and yellowfish absolutely smash this thing. So I'm using a size 14 Hanak H30BL. Um, that just seems to be a really nice hook for this. It is size 14, but I would definitely call this size 16 realistically. Um, hook manufacturers do not standardize anything. So anyway, start your thread. I'm going to use a biot body today, and it's going to be tan goose biot. So once you've just started your thread like that, cut off a, a single biot and uh, put it in your mouth while you wrap the thread down. Having the biotin your mouth helps to sop, uh, soften it and prevent it from uh, cracking or snapping while you are wrapping it. Now I'm going to tie the biot in at the tip and I like the sort of clear part. You'll see it's got a, a side with a ridge and a side that's sort of transparent. I like that transparent side facing up because you want that to be um, facing forwards while you're wrapping it. Um, otherwise it lays itself over the ridge and you get less of a pronounced segmentation. Right, I'm going to wrap my thread forward to about there. Once again about two-thirds of the way. And I'll just add a tiny bit of super glue to the body because this will make it so much stronger. Um, now I've got a rotary vise so I'm just going to wrap my thread a few times and then hold the biot and wrap but you can if you don't have a vise like this you can also just wrap it by hand quite easily. So that's a really nice looking body. I'm going to cut this biot off as well as you can. And just sort of neaten it up with the thread. You don't want to add too much thread, but yeah. Now there are a couple of ways to do the CDC um, for this fly. And the first way I'm going to show you is the simplest, but it also requires CDC with certain characteristics. Um, so quite sort of short, short fluffy CDC feathers, but with fairly long fibers, and that is something that isn't the easiest to find. What I've found is that the I ordered a while back two packets of the Marc Petit Jean Beige CDC. And it seems to have very different uh, characteristics to the dyed CDC feathers. Um, and it just happens to be perfect for this. So I tend to use that for these flies. And I'll, ju I'll just grab three feathers, line up the tips. So you've got a nice bunch there.
I'm going to tie this in facing backwards and let's say the ends of the CDC or the CDC uh, must be about twice the length of the hook maybe just less than twice the length of the hook and you will be surprised how long this thorax needs to be I usually initially wrap the body slightly longer than it needs to be because it's so thin if you need to shorten it you can actually just tie in the CDC over some of the body so you can see the CDC is now tied in almost halfway down the shank of the hook um, and that is because the thorax needs to be fairly pronounced now there's another way to do the CDC and I will sh demonstrate the other way um, at the end of the video you don't have to go out and look for a, a CDC with specific characteristics you're just lucky if you can find it now I'm going to use some um, super fine dubbing in roughly the same color as the CDC you can also just use hairs here if you need to um, in fact this isn't even really uh, true super fine dubbing this is actually just the fluff that you get in at the base of deer hair but it works fantastically well for dry flies Let me make a bit of a thorax here let's wrap that to just behind the eye take your CDC fold it over and hold it here while you do one wrap keep your thread nice and tight two wraps pull it back one two three and that will help to keep it up and slightly away from the hook eye now finish it the same way as I did before with the last fly and that is just with a little bit of super glue on the thread and do a couple more wraps there cut off your thread if you want to neaten up your fly, it's not strictly necessary, but you can just, uh, there'll usually be a couple of pieces of CDC sticking out the back of the thorax here, and I like to cut those off because I can be a perfectionist at times, but the fish really don't care about stuff like that. I see there's a piece just there at the eye. Anyway, that is a absolutely brilliant fly, and I mean, it's not just for the bokong, this thing works the world over, you catch uh, brown trout on it in Europe, you'll catch crailing on it big time um, the yellows absolutely slaughter it in the late season as do the trout it's amazingly buoyant and visible because the CDC sticks up so far um, so yeah this just is one of my all-time favorite flies uh, it's really durable especially if you add that super glue underneath the um, biot body so, right so I mentioned there was another way to um, make a bunch of CDC for these uh, shuttlecocks if you can't get CDC with the right characteristics just to use the feather tips. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a whole probably like I've got come on focus I'm going to take a couple of CDC feathers, stack them on top of each other, stroke these fibers back a little bit, take my bulldog clip, you're going to want nice long CDC fibers for this, take my bulldog clip and uh, grab all of those like so take my scissors you might need to do this more than once I think once should be okay for this so 
So now you've got one side of two different feathers in your bulldog clip. Now you take some cardboard and you carefully work it into the bulldog clip. And you can use this to stack all these fibers together. Right, so now you'll see they're roughly stacked into one place. It's not the neatest, but it'll do. Now you're going to grab them with your fingers. And just tie them in like that. Now you've got a bunch of CDC fibers there. Just trim off the butts here. Just going to do the same as earlier, bit of dubbing, grab these fibers as a bunch, pull them over the thorax, couple of turns of thread, pull them back, couple of turns of thread in front, and hey, sorted. Bit of super glue. Catch your thread. Clean up the stray fibers a little bit. Now if you want to really neaten this up, it's not actually necessary, but you'll notice all these fibers are at a different length. You can just pinch them and uh, break off the tops a little bit shorter maybe, or you can cut them off and there, sorted. And that looks almost as neat as using the tips and it's easily as buoyant if not more so. So, really, if you have a little bit more time, it obviously takes slightly longer, but if the only CDC you can get it does not allow you to use the tips um, very well, then this method is just as good.